Good morning, class. Today we are looking at uh, methods for collecting data. The last time we looked at observational studies, so uh, collecting data through just observing and not actually imposing conditions. Today we're going to talk about designed experiments where you're actually imposing conditions. So I want you to think about a ha uh, hand where you're actually assigning people to different groups. So a lot of times you will randomly assign people to different groups, and so those different groups are called treatments. So think of randomly drawing people out of a hat and then assigning them to different treatments. So today we want to, in this designed experiment, think about how different um, either a pill or uh, consuming honey would affect whether or not you have allergies. So there's a lot of different variables um, here involved or different vocabulary words. So the first one that we have is going to be what's called an explanatory variable. So we want to see if the type of treatment that's being received is going to affect what's called the response variable. So the response variable then here would be um, allergy symptoms. So this is the relationship that we're interested in. So in this designed experiment, we're interested in whether this explanatory variable, so type of treatment that's being received, is going to affect allergy symptoms, which is our response. So what's going to happen or what we're most interested in. So in a designed experiment, explanatory variables are so also sometimes referred to as factor variables. So these are both, in an ex a designed experiment, going to be referring to the same thing. So causing a change in our response, which is allergy symptoms. So then factors have different levels, so the different options that are available to you. So here our levels are going to be either a pill or, you know, taking honey to see if that's going to affect your allergy symptoms. So in a designed experiment, you are actually assigning people to an explanatory variable or a factor. There are different levels then in your factor variable, which is going to be a type of pill or honey. And then you're seeing if that is going to affect the response variable, which here is going to be allergy symptoms. So the treatment is the singular one. And so I've been using that term. So you could have the treatment of either honey or you could have the treatment of pills. So that's singular in the factor, and these are the options or the levels within the factor. So in a designed experiment, um, ideally you randomly assign people to different treatments, and then you're going to determine whether or not your explanatory variable has an effect on your response variable. So different from an observational study, where in an observational study you simply observe a designed experiment, you're actually going to impose conditions on your subjects.